in the name of Jesus Christ. Manifest your glory in my life. Manifest your glory in your children's life. Manifest your glory, O oh Lord God. Let your will be done in our life. Father, you make us important people. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Calabar, en el sureste de Nigeria. Al caer la tarde, cientos de predicadores evangélicos salen a la calle para predicar la palabra de Dios. Dicen que esta región, llena de iglesias, está maldita. Aquí vivían niños brujos con poderes destructivos que arruinaron a familias y comunidades, trayendo enfermedades y muerte. Según los predicadores, estos niños son la raíz de todos los males. Las familias abandonan a sus supuestos hijos brujos. No es raro que los padres utilicen esta superstición como excusa para deshacerse de los niños, porque no tienen dinero para mantenerlos. Hay casi 20.000 niños viviendo en las calles, rechazados, despreciados y golpeados. Los llaman escolombos, niños brujos. A pocos kilómetros del centro de la ciudad se encuentra el vertedero de Lemna. Decenas de figuras peinan los montones de basura. Este es el último refugio para los niños brujos. En medio de la basura nos encontramos a tres escolombos, David, King y Joseph. En el centro del vertedero, los niños intentan vender su escaso botín. Seguirlos es imposible. A pesar de contar con un permiso, las cámaras están prohibidas aquí. Seguimos grabando con nuestros móviles. Es un suburbio de niños perdidos. Un pueblo improvisado en el que casi 300 niños brujos están abandonados a su suerte, decenas de ellos en barracas improvisadas. Las condiciones higiénicas son catastróficas. Es un paraíso para los patógenos. La violencia física y las agresiones sexuales son omnipresentes. Las jóvenes son violadas y no tienen más remedio que dar a luz a sus hijos en medio del vertedero. Las pequeñas brujas son presa fácil para los proxenetas y los recién nacidos son mercancía para los traficantes de personas. Este es el destino de los niños brujos. David, King y Joseph sobrevivieron dos años en el infierno de Lemna. Go and turn and go do like this. They will force you, beating you. 
They will not give you no do, they will not give you food. No, that's why I live him now. In the life, a lot of machine. You don't stay and say, I don't want to put me for school. And money you know they to put me for school. say, Ma, I will stay with my mama. My mama could put me in school. So I will stay with them. Put me for school. After I'm picking, say, Me, I'll be wishing for the belief. That's why I'm not taking up my school. My school fee will not expire because if I pay me, it's new when my old broom. Uh, call class, so I was going to stay in the street going to school. That day, because they said they were looking for my girl, they chained me. After they chained me and beat me, so my younger, my younger is picking, because I call him picking like my sister. My younger sister come with this, me say, my run. Something they want to me go back. The wind boy, what I want come for me, he come with this, me say, my run. Now that day with me around, I don't even reach that compound. I will not go to school, back to school again, to be knowing something. So I know how to, if they bring case for me, I know how to be Josie. And to be a lawyer, so that if they be a lawyer, those people were saying I am a wish. I will go back to that place again and tell them this, me, David, no people say I am a wish. En el delta del Níger, la mayoría pertenece al pentecostalismo. En 30 años, esta corriente cristiana evangélica experimentó un aumento de fieles sin precedentes. Los sacerdotes prometen bienestar espiritual y material a los creyentes abandonados por el Estado. Y alimentan la creencia de que hay espíritus malignos entre la gente. En el centro de Calabar, las iglesias pentecostales se promocionan de todas las maneras posibles. Hay enormes vallas publicitarias en cada esquina. Aquí la religión es una industria y el dinero la motivación de los predicadores. Juegan con los mitos populares para hacer un verdadero modelo de negocio de los niños brujos. Solo ellos pueden librar a los niños del demonio mediante el exorcismo. Una solución para los hogares más ricos. El precio ronda los 100 dólares. El domingo visitamos una de las muchas parroquias de la ciudad, la Iglesia de la Cristiandad Celestial. Los fieles rezan, cantan y bailan, guiados por los sermones del autoproclamado profeta David. Al caer la noche cambia el ambiente. Los fieles se preparan para una ceremonia. El profeta David se quita el hábito de sacerdote y se convierte en exorcista. Nos reencontramos con David y King. Esta noche se decidirá su futuro. Para demostrarnos su omnipresencia, el profeta ha aceptado librar a los niños de los malos espíritus. We want to pray to God Almighty for God to deliver these our children and bring them before us. That Jehovah God Almighty is to give them deliverance, to give them victory, to conquer for them every spirit that not belong to God in their body. May God Almighty send them away and return them to the normal life. Sean, may the Spirit of God rest abide with you and the grace of God be sufficient for you. May your spirit of God lead and guide you of you. Every power of darkness goes to take them away from you. May you walk in, in the light of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in them and take absolute control before we pray in Jesus. Yeah, both of you said shout hallelujah seven times. To 
Look at that. Después de las oraciones, el profeta prepara su agua bendita. Solo él sabe lo que contiene. Decidirá el destino de los niños. Si vomitan la poción, se libran del diablo. Si no, seguirán siendo escolombos. Comienza una larga noche para los niños. Durante horas se retuercen con espasmos, hasta que vomitan la poción. I speak a great changes in their life, and I also I thank God that making them to accept to come here, because some of them will say I will not go to that place because they are way away. I don't want to go to that place, but God wants them to be, to be have the events, make them to come here, and as sure as I'm giving this, they will sin no more. Por la mañana, el profeta corta la ropa que los niños han llevado durante la ceremonia y la quema como símbolo de la victoria sobre los espíritus malignos. Aún así, los niños están condenados a vivir como parias. Ni siquiera la bendición final del profeta pudo convencer a sus familias de que volviesen a aceptarlos. A unos 100 kilómetros de Calabar, en la región petrolera de Aqua y Bom, también hay niños brujos en circunstancias dramáticas. Aquí visitamos a Sami Tauma. En 2003, Sam vio cómo linchaban a tres niños en un mercado de Calabar. Desde entonces lucha por proteger a los niños brujos. Con la ayuda de donaciones privadas y de ONGs internacionales, fundó CRAN, una asociación que devuelve a los niños una vida medio normal. Primero los sacan de la calle, les dan comida y atención médica. Luego les inscriben en las escuelas de la región y cada semana reciben atención psicológica. Desde su creación, la asociación ha rescatado a unos 8.000 niños. Given the fact that uh, I come from a very uh, superstitious uh, uh, society, a community, and we all believe uh, mostly in the, uh, the concept of uh, spiritism. Almost everybody believes in witchcraft. The government also sees that witchcraft belief uh, is false, and they've enacted laws that uh, penalizes people who stigmatize individuals. The, the only problem we face in this direction is those laws, unfortunately, are not implemented uh, to the letter. The government can claim, or people can claim that, okay, the laws are on grounds, but the implementation of the law, to the best of my understanding, is zero. Como el gobierno no hace nada, Sam y su equipo buscan a los niños brujos. Desde hace varias semanas siguen el rastro de unos escolombos. Yeah, we were told that um, they are roaming the streets and they are facing imminent danger if they were not rescued. So we believe that we'll be able to uh, find them and get them rescued to 
then bring them to the grandchildren center. But we learned that there are some street children, abandoned children. Yeah. Yes, around here. Yes, I I also always see about ten of them down there at the bridge. Bridge. At the bridge. Yeah. Okay, down there. Yeah. Can you help us to see them? We can go there, no problem. Okay, thank you. We are living under this. This is where they are living. Wow. Come now. I'm here to escape. This is where they are living. All of them, they are living inside here. Hello? This is where they are living. Look at the park this morning. Look at what. Uh, we've not been able to uh, find those uh, children, and um, we learned they have gone to a place called Marina here in Eket. So we are going there right away to see if we can be able to get uh, some of them. El líder de la comunidad conduce a Sam hasta los niños en un mercado. Really, the danger that they reach and the danger that fix. Some of them. If you look at the environment that sleep is too dirty, it's dirty. Some at times they can feel malaria. You know, a place like this mosquito can bite them. One of them, year, last year, one of them sick seriously here. We tell how we can do. The guy just pass up. No, he died. He died. Sometimes. When I see when we see them, no food, no food for us. They will bring food and come and give us. Like sometimes every Saturday, they will share food, they will share food for us. And every Friday. Rescatan a los niños, pero el grupo no está completo. Sam está decidido a encontrar a los niños que faltan. So um, the children live here, yeah. and we are happy to see them alive. Like, so this is just the lot of what most of the children are passing through. Jerry! Someone, some people are here. So, I want to say that uh, this area alone, I have rescued more than 100 children, and I assume this is going to come to an end, but the situation, about 70 years, for 70 years now I've been working on this issue, we are still on the same matter. At the moment, we have just rescued uh, about uh, 15 children here, and we are taking them to the Crown uh, Children Center, where all of them will be going to school, and they will be given uh, psychosocial support. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, 17 of the children have been rescued today. Why are you on the street? Your father again pursued you out of the house. Okay. So what, for what reason? Why? He calls you witch. You are not a witch, okay? You get me? You are not a witch. You've never been a witch. 
Esa noche los niños duermen a salvo. Misiones de rescate como esta son el día a día de la asociación. Child who is stigmatized, you have the child has to pass to uh, certain uh, horrific, terrible condition, and that condition involves uh, torture, uh, starving, deprivation of food. They could be chained for days without uh, food. Or once that happens, the child is, has no option than to say, Come, accept that he or she is a witch. Las torturas de estos niños son la norma y no la excepción. Como es el caso de Maisy, acogida hace un año y medio. Rescatar a los niños es solo el primer paso. El centro trabaja para reconciliarlos con sus familias. Sam lleva hoy a la pequeña Goldgift de vuelta con su padre, que la repudió. Llevan dos años sin verse. The father claimed that she has taken the money to the witchcraft coven and started beating her, and then sent her out of the house. So since then, it has been back and forth with her. She's not been, uh, she's been roaming the street until a young lady saw her walking on the street barefooted and with tattered clothes, then brought her to the Grand Children's Center. Mm-hmm. Los predicadores evangélicos han hecho un gran trabajo. Superstición, miedo y miseria imposibilitan una reconciliación. Godgift no volverá hoy con su familia. Los autoproclamados profetas y la pobreza por la crisis económica tientan a diario a los padres nigerianos a repudiar a sus hijos, acusándolos de ser escolombos. <risa> 